A respected British scientist has admitted that emails taken from his inbox calling into question many of the accepted truths of global warming were genuine. Were genuine. The documents appear to show scientists are holding back or ignoring evidence. One even suggested using a trick to hide a trend of falling temperatures. A trick to hide a trend of falling temperatures. Revelations came just weeks ahead of an international summit on climate change to be held in the Danish capital Copenhagen. Well, let's uh, get more on this. I'm joined live by Alexei Kokorin. He's a weather program coordinator for the World Wildlife Fund in Russia. And also Piers Corbyn in London. Uh, Mr. Corbyn's an independent weather forecaster. Now, first of all, to you, Mr. Kokorin. Yes, yes. I'm asking you uh, yes, the, yes. the news that uh, the, the scientist uh, we've been referring to in our reports here, he actually used a trick to hide the fact that the world's temperature is not increasing. What do you make of these revelations? Yes, uh, I was uh, in group of authors of fourth assessment report and I know that some people, some my co-authors, tried to demonstrate temperature growth in most visible style, more dramatic, more catastrophic than even in reality, more dramatic, more catastrophic than even in reality. Therefore, I'm not surprised that it's not crucial news for me. Um, what evidence can you tell us about the situation in Russia? Give us some tangible examples, please. Yes, the uh, situation in Russia is uh, that Russian scientists, leading scientists, have no doubts that climate change is mainly, mainly anthropogenic increase of uh, greenhouse gas effect. What's your response as, as an independent weather forecaster? Well, he's talking complete nonsense. Uh, the data, real data, over the last thousand, ten thousand or uh, million years shows there's no relationship between carbon dioxide and world temperatures or climate extremes. And now we can see that actually the people in charge of the data have been fiddling it. And the, they've been hiding the real decline in world temperatures in, a, in an attempt to keep their so-called moral high ground. All right, the whole moral uh, case is blown to smithereens and this whole theory should be destroyed and discarded and the Copenhagen conference should be closed. Well, so how do you explain the, the, the very evidence that here I am sitting in Moscow, there's no snow when there should be, we're talking about the Arctic Sea warming up, allowing more navigation for vessels, we're talking about and reporting about floods all over the world. How do you explain this latest? phenomena in the climate? Well, in terms of the floods recently all over the world, these were predicted by us at weatheraction.com, long-range forecasters, using solar activity. If you take, take a proper look at data over a long period of time, you see, for example, there's been no increase in hurricanes hitting the USA, corresponding to uh, anything to do with CO2 in the last 100 years. So their claims are false. I repeat, they are false. And this theory they've got is like the Titanic and it will crash. And I would suggest that honest green campaigners who want to preserve biodiversity or whatever should get off this bandwagon before it sinks. Mr. Corcoran, what do you... For real green issues uh, where, it, where it's needed. All right, thanks, Mr. Corbyn. Mr. Corcoran, what do you think? Uh, Thank you. All your views are a complete waste of time. Uh, you should jump off this bandwagon. This is a big blow to environmentalists, is it not? Yes, of course, and uh, speaking about uh, origin of climate change, uh, of course many people repeat that thousands and millions of years ago we had the same temperature, thousands of years ago. But in history of uh, human society, we never had such CO2 concentration as we have now. This is the main reason. Uh, how do you respond to these uh, answers? Well, it's complete nonsense. If you look at data, if anything, uh, carbon dioxide levels are driven by temperatures, not the other way around. There have been big peaks in CO2 in the past, and there have been CO2 levels much higher than present, as shown in geological uh, evidence. Carbon dioxide is actually a good thing for the world. More CO2 means plants and agriculture is more efficient, and plants grow faster. We should be campaigning for more CO2, not less, and we should end this anti science scientific nonsense now. Well, well, what's your view about alternative energy then? Um, do you think more well, energy and, and resources should be going into that? Sure. Well, uh, there are some alternative energy schemes which are good, but wind farms, for example, are stupid because for every wind farm you need to have a coal-fired power station to, to provide wind, uh, provide power when there's no wind. So who's so, profiting from know, all of this? Mr. Some Cornelius? alternatives are good. 
But, but who, who, who's, if the scientists are cooking the books then, just uh, tell us exactly why they are doing this and who is profiting from it then? Well, look, you have to ask them and who, who pays them. But there is a gigantic bandwagon running by, run by governments primarily who want to control world energy supplies and hold back development in the third world. Let's be clear, the West or the, the leading world wants to stay ahead and they're doing anything they can to stay ahead. And this thing they're doing now is just the same as the banking crisis, it's creating a whole bubble of false value. So you're saying that over, over 100 and people will pay. You're saying over 190 countries are meeting very shortly in Copenhagen to discuss this, uh, to continue with the Kyoto Pro Protocol and it's going to be a much wider measure because fewer countries were involved in the Kyoto Protocol many more com countries are now involved in this next initiative. You're actually saying that it's a complete waste of time. Yes, a complete waste of time. All right, let's see. Uh, what money they waste there should be used to combat malaria, for example, or a whole lot of things. Well, wait a minute. Mala malaria could be world. as a result of g uh, increasing global temperatures, could it not? That is nonsense. Anyone in Russia knows that malaria has happened in Russia in the past. It's, it's not anything to do with, with warming. And in fact, now the world is cooling. You understand that? Or the world is cooling and has been cooling for seven years, and the leading scientists, so called scientists, have been trying to hide that evidence. Mr. Corcoran, the Copenhagen summit is a waste of time. What do you think? Mr. Corbyn says it's a complete waste of time. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Do you ask me about Copenhagen yes. or about uh, the climate Co attacks? Let's, yes. let's talk about the Copenhagen summit. Many, many people are flying all over the world at great expense and they're going to be meeting over 190 representatives from all the countries in the world, uh, from those countries, are yes. going to be meeting in Copenhagen and Mr. Corbyn says it's a waste of time. Uh, no, it's not waste of time, not at all. Yes, it's very reasonable to very seriously discuss economic and financial tools to solve the problem. And in Russia, he is absolutely wrong. Malaria never happened in Russia before. Now it is. And Sokolibus <laughs> was only in Siberia. Oh, come was on, that is such Siberia. a lie. That is such where, a lie. Where you I was in Russia it. last you time? Know that is a I live here. I've heard Russian science. Are you a doctor Russia or meteorologist? Say, say, I've heard Russian yes. scientists and the Russian Please read this say report. how when they were children they knew about malaria. Please read this Russia. report. Please read scientific articles. And I know that some people, some of my co-authors, try to demonstrate temperature growth in most visible style. More dramatic, more catastrophic than even in reality. Therefore, I'm not surprised that it's not crucial news for me. No, lies okay. and cover up. I'm just going to interrupt here. Just Could one I final ask word, you, just are one... you a medical doctor? Speak about what Russia. Gentlemen, can you, you hear me? Well, I don't Who think I'm going to get you? much further with this. Come on. Who pays you?